We can do something completely different with the music. I said, damn it, I asked you and we went and told trotted dialogue, we have to do it. Sanjane avore sanjane avore avore Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years Rahman Music Sheets Hi friends how about finding a top take a wow factor in this episode do watch it till the end to grab this harmonic moment of the day Kandukonde in Kandukonde the second film directed by Rajiv Menon featuring a dream cast Aishwarya Rai Tabu Mamuti Ajit Kumar and Abbas Shankar Mahadevan won his first national award as playback singer The film is based on sense and sensibility published in 1811 the first novel by english author jane austen in 1995 columbia pictures produced it for screen it won an oscar for best adapted screenplay from jane austen's timeless classic there's some blue sky let us chase it if sense and sensibility was about english upper crust morality kandakonde in kandakonde focuses on brahmin anxieties in tamil society The challenge was to adapt English characters and make them captivating for Indian setup and audiences. Do you want to make Jane Austen's thing? People are drinking tea and speaking like that. And what? What? How is that going to work? Eat it, Kanga. Amma, our poorn girl, I'm going to go to Kolkata and buy a nice English cover of Marco. That's not enough, man. இந்த டாலரும் பவுன்ஸுமா சம்பாதிக்கிற பசங்கள்லாம் வருவாங்க ஸோ தேன் ஒன் ஒர்க் தே குட் ஆக்சுவலி ஃபைட் இட் அவுட் அண்ட் திங்ஸ் ஸோ அண்ட் ஐ டிட் த நரேஷன் இஸ் இட் ஏ திஸ் இஸ் மூவிங் மேன் திஸ் இஸ் ரியலி மூவிங் ஸோ வி கேன் டூ சம்திங் கம்ப்ளீட்லி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வித் த மியூசிக் அண்ட் தே ஃபோர் வி வ செட் லெட் லெட்ஸ் ஒர்க் வி ஆர் டன் வித் வெஸ்டர்ன் மியூசிக் அண்ட் அ யங் பெப்பி திங்ஸ் ஸோ நவ் லெட்ஸ் டூ வித் இண்டியன் ராக்ஸ் we were completely going into the other side because it is about women and it's about uh, falling in love with <laughs> we wanted to have one ballad which was like um, you know be able to be shot in uh, scotland so we had a completely carnatic raga so we didn't want to you know use a scottish kind of tune for that so there was this one rag that we wanted to do and we had actually done a brew commercial together ta da ta da dum ka ta ka ta ka ta da ta da ta da da ta dum it was on a brew track and it was not a kunji mm. super coffee and we had jammed together because it was a afternoon wedding discussion and in afternoon weddings in tambram weddings they play natagunji so i had worked in that commercial so we said we can do it and raman said yeah sure sure let's do it we'll do that and i went and shot a scene where the mamuti is telling ashuri rai that that natagunji and this thing is good marakapadrathu paadu nalla nichu நாட்ட குறிஞ்சிலும் ஷஹானாவுக்கு மாறுறது ரொம்ப கிளாஸ் அண்ட் when we are doing the music this tune is not coming and he saying i'm telling you this this tune is not going to work we're going to work i said damn it i asked you and we went and told trotter dialogue we have to do it he said you're pretty boring me with this <laughs> so then we would just go and for one month 
we kept i used to go with every night listen listen to this natakurji listen to this natakurji i was in working and then finally there was one recording of one 1950s film where there was one song in natakurji and he heard it and he said that is it an oboe or a clarinet and he's hearing something else on the tune he's hearing something else and then suddenly he turns back and he starts playing dang 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 he starts playing jazz and he's making it dang 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 bang bang he started playing and he started playing aggressively and then after he had played that for 3 minutes tang tang dang 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 boom the tune came so it's like one month of listening to natakunji rag and then one day it's the new one has come because otherwise you will get a conventional tune which is like the other classical pieces the important thing when you use classical music is it, the bandish shouldn't look like the popular bandish you have to try doing something new but you must have the feeling of the rag but it should not sound familiar so that this is what he is struggling with and if he is he may not explain this to you but you have to understand that uh working with rahman is like you have to believe in your heart that he loves you because he's going to take so much time that is your schedule is going to go tearing apart and things like that. but he's just trying his best and he doesn't know when it's going to work but he's trying you know and i think that's what makes working with rahman and a completely different experience mr menon i'm very curious how did mr rahman adapt to the style of hollywood because they have watertight schedules and timelines it must have been quite a challenge for him as well as for the producers i i guess uh, the way the indian film industry works and the way tunes are created in india is um, you know our films are you know half written and we go into shooting and then uh, you see the visuals and you create the background score or you see the visuals and then create the songs so it's a, it, it's a lot more improvisational whereas when you go to the west you're going to be given the script and based on the script you're going to sit and uh, make music and the music is in score sheets and then you're going to go and do it so i think that system is a little different in 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 hollywood from what it is in india if rahman went to hollywood and they gave him a script and he read the script and says okay i'm going to create six music bits like this uh, i don't know whether his mind functions in that way you know his mind may function with we should me see the visual and then i will create a track and when people are so planned that you know you're going to be two years ahead you're going to be shooting and you want the background score six months before you shoot or whatever it is uh, that may be slightly difficult it's not that he can lock himself up in a room and just sort of write score sheets it's not him <laughs> I think as a child because he worked in these uh in these recording studios with you know 40 50 musicians sitting together reacting to a visual it was intrinsic in him to you know react that way but at the same time you know you give your film with lot of love and affection and you expect ear to watch the whole film that's not going to happen he'll watch first half and say okay now i've got to tune now i'm going to start working So he says, "Don't you want to see the balance film? I'll see it. I'll see it." Uh, and so, basically, his attention is that of that reel of that ten minutes, and that ten minutes wants him to. If he wants, he's getting some idea. Okay, but not get this idea. Now let's go to the next thing. So it, he not, doesn't even score music as okay. I'll do reel one, reel two, reel three. No, he'll be watching reel one, reel two, reel three, and suddenly say, "Okay, put that reel number six. 
and let's start with the midpoint. He'll somewhere, somewhere he'll start thinking. And it doesn't work, he doesn't mind. He leaves it and then, you know, starts again. And as a result, there's a lot of spontaneity and there's a lot of unpredictability in his music. And so, whether it is for somebody like Shekhar Kapoor to work with him. By God, England will not fall while I am cool. Danny Boyle to work with him on thing. What they notice is here is this man who is ready to do something completely unexpected and then lift a sort of scene because you imagine some kind of stock music and it's something else that's, that's going to come in. <laughs> Initially, he was used to scoring real wise, so a film was divided into below 10 minutes in the conventional recording studio system when he was working. So, he scores for reels and then he kind of, uh, you know, puts it all together. Be it Maya Maya from Guru or Chaya Chaya from Dilse. Or Hamma Hamma from Bombay. Short, catchy phrases have remained a signature of Rahman's songs. Kandakonde in Kandakonde was not an exception. The character of Tabu was always sad and she doesn't smile. <laughs> the hero when he's, you know, singing to her, he just wants her to smile. Like, I mean, he's shooting the film with an actress, but he's actually thinking of his love interest. <laughs> And she's always sad. So what if she smiles? So, so smile, smile. We kept on saying smiles. So smile, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's got this habit of doing all this gibberish, and he will sing while he composes. So it was some gibberish that he sang like that while he was composing the tune, and the gibberish was so good that we couldn't change it. Sandana Tindrale Janal Galdanditel Nyayama. That was originally he had composed it like Sanjane Avore Sanjane Avore Avore. Somewhere he's heard some folk song, some place and he's using some words while he's composing. And sometimes it's gibberish, sometimes it is some words. <laughs> song shot in Egypt and then uh, it wasn't planned to be shot in Egypt. We wanted to just shoot in Rajasthan, but Ended up, we could never find a railway track in the middle of the sand, you know, where we wanted to. Every song was a two-month struggle. It wasn't like happening, so we were like working hard and trying to say that it will work. And his composing process is not open. It's, it's a spiritual space where he's locked in a room, he's praying and he's hoping for a pure new thought. And that is what, uh, and, and that's what's now really difficult because Rahman is so busy 
and to get two months to work on one song is not going to happen because he's he's got to do 10 films now and deliver 60 songs so it's like really difficult that that intimate way of working you know and where every instrument every thing which is getting recorded you and ramana are doing it together and you're like debating on it and then saying that maybe this is too much and then the contribution of sridhar in saying okay let's 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 remove this let's remove this and let's clean it up and let's make it lighter and lighter and cleaner it was also the period where music was really important in indian films you know now music is an add on it's like very few films are sold only for the music music films are sold for the experience the visual experience of the story but not necessarily for the music but people would just go to see a film because the songs were good i mean i mean not that i mean the story also had to be good but i think the the importance of songs in the indian film narrative has reduced and it's sad because that was something which is very uniquely indian it's very much part of our indian culture it's part from our bhagavata mela and all of that where our narrative traditions come from and it is a narrative of interruptions but the interruptions are very beautiful and they have rhythm and melody and they are something that you enjoy even a sad song you enjoy you know many feel that the songs of mr rehman do not connect with audiences the way they were doing in the past is there something that has changed in his music or is it the way music is consumed today more than 1 lakh songs get released every day and rarely that you see a chart buster i think it's difficult to say i mean um, because i think the way people perceive melody is different you know so it's not that rahman has musically lost the battle to a superior melody or something that it's just that uh, the kind of music and the kind of clutter that is there you know there is there's not that one film that you were waiting for that one audio to release and everybody's waiting for it and now it's you don't go and buy the cd you don't get the, everything everything is accessible so music and musicians are not the superstars that they were and there's no that kind of wow factor and then wow this is absolutely divine this god there's no more superstars it's like watching the ipl there are many players every day is a tamasha so i think rahman will probably do more independent music will probably that's why he's exploring direction and that's why he's exploring vr or other aspects of his creative personality uh, rather than just doing another film song which would be a hit sarvam talamayya brought rajiv menon back to film direction after 19 years underlining the politics of carnatic music the film is an intrepid journey of a dalit musician who dares to dream big told stories behind this musical by rehman rajiv menon will be back in our next episode stay with us oh, he started playing and he started playing aggressively and then after he had played that for 3 minute tang tang tan 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 boom the tune came you know so it's like one month of listening to natakranji rag and then one day it's the new one has come because otherwise you will get a conventional tune do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day is your choice different whatever your mind says write it in the comment section below we will be waiting subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained